G'day and welcome to the Infronters, day one of the AIE. Uh, joining me first, Cabot off the rank, is Space Tomato and Algrid. Uh, how are you guys doing? Very good, very good. Mm. I'm still in my Hearst and Pace, pace uh, PJs. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like PJs, actually, now you mention it. Uh, so, it's a loud shirt, man. Yeah, you've got, um, what do you call it in it, the States coming up? It, um, what do you call Thanksgiving. it? The, uh, Thanksgiving. So you, this is the only Jay yeah. you're going to be able to join us for the sale, but that's all right. We got, got you here for at least once, which is good. What are we going to say? Might be sorry? able to get in late. Maybe. Oh, we'll, we'll see. All right, well, we'll see. Well, maybe if we... Uh, we will definitely be doing some uh, buyer's guides that we're not expecting. So we've got the Spartan to do, the... Um, uh, God, the Raft and the Odyssey. And Odyssey. I, yeah, and, and I did share some stuff with you guys before the show. So um, hopefully there's some very interesting com stuff coming next week. Uh, stuff that I didn't even realize uh, is kind of interesting. Anyway, um, so let's kick it off straight away. This is going to be a short and sweet episode, being uh, the first cab off the rank. Um, and we're basically just going to go through the real basics of, um, of what there is today. So basically, I think... Um, the first thing I would, you'd probably agree with me is the um, the Spartan and what it's good for in the sale. So I'll let you talk about that, Algrid. What what are we going to use the Spartan for this year? Spartan is your LTI token. That is it, as far as I can see. Certified. Yeah. It is a sub one hundred dollar ship, which falls into our don't buy in game. I oh, don't buy with cash buying game. Um, but talking to the military guys uh, as well, I. It's it's lackluster. Mm. That's that's the best summary of it. It's lackluster. It's it, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, and I'm sure the military guys will let us know in the comments. For me, it reeks of theaters of war. It it <laughs> looks like the NPC they've made for theaters of war. Um, and you go read the Q and A, and we we'll probably have a look at that after this. But like the first question is literally is why would I buy this over a ship? Um, and well, I mean, use it to transport. Yeah, you know, just. Just look at the the sales page for it, the promo pictures. Like, how often do you think you're going to be doing that in the PU versus mm. something like Theories of War? I mean, we're, we're, some people will use it for that, but for the most part, I don't think most people will be using this for actual military mm. stuff. Mostly just transport. Yep. And, the, and the, I think I think the price speaks a lot to that too. With the Spartan mm. being a hundred and uh, it's one hundred and twenty five dollars, and this is sixty dollars less. On, and I'm going to totally you, you meant the, the price. You meant the back the ballista. Did I say versus, backwards? Ballista. Yeah. yeah, sorry. My bad. So, yeah, oh. it's, um, you're paying $60 for the ballista to get a gun. I, I think that there's fires one, missiles. Thing that I, one thing I, I noticed in looking at the ship is that it seems that the seats are further spread apart. And that likely means that people in heavy armor can actually sit in them True. better. Whereas if you're in, say, if a crump schmop like we, we do in, say, the mm. MPVUP, or the Earth say so we might find that their guys in heavy armor can't sit in those seats. And and that would fit with something they've said in the past about, you know, the armor will depend on what where you can sit in terms of, you know, your spaceship. So mm. that could be mm. uh something to consider. But I all I, I think our rec regular recommendation of don't buy vehicles basically covers that. But yeah, as an LTI token, <laughs> go nuts. At sixty five, yep. I believe at sixty five dollars, um, that is quite cheap, um, and basically it it, it it's going to allow you to use CCUs and that to go go up in other ships. Uh, speaking of which, if I'm on the right page, sorry, I'm trying to still get used to this new page they've got here. Um, they've got a couple of ships that are time limited, so you have got the Arrow, and um, we've got a couple of CCUs that we're going to talk about. And that's basically it's a very it's a very plain sale today uh but the ccus are, are what you're going to probably want to look at most mm. um and i'm gonna let it load live just to show you how bad it is <laughs> but yeah um we've got the carrick um which you get a uh i've got it written down here 40 dollars saving on the carrick you get a 50 dollars a 15 15 not 50 dollars saving on the spartan and because the A2 is still around, because it's just been released into the patch, there's a $75 saving on that. But if you go to the A2, there is currently nothing higher than the A2 that you can go to. So if you want to get an A2, there's a $75 saving, but it's not going to let you go sideways into anything like a Polaris or anything like that, because there's no $0 CCUs. So while we're talking about that saving, it's only if you've got an A2. Um, but this is where you're going to start the... Uh, build your CCU chain, so you can literally take that Spartan, and if you're going higher than a Carrick, then you can pick up one for the Carrick as well. But right now, all you've got today 
is your LTI token, generally speaking? Because, like, I know you guys get me wrong, but I, I think most people's ships that they'll be going for are somewhere between 200 to five hundred dollars somewhere in that bracket maybe yeah. um probably, anything else yeah, probably yeah. anything else you guys want to add there before we move on to ccus um nope. CCUs. Oh, yeah. no not really all right agrid i'll let you talk about the packs so go please, please um see. the nomad pack is as a, a starter pack with mm -hmm. its uh combo is not too bad or well, that that one's not too bad but again uh Yes, it is cheaper than last year's combo pack, but it doesn't have LTI. This one cheaper than the start this individual pack last year, but again, no LTI. Um, I think they're lackluster. Do you have a preference there, Space to Manu, as in which starter pack you think people should pick up? Uh, the cheapest one. <laughs> That's exactly oh. the right answer. To be honest. Um, yeah. But the problem, the problem is that most of the starter ships are broken in some way. The experience is just not great. So, yeah. like... Between the Mustang and the Nomad, I would say the Nomad's the better choice because it works mm. better. But you, and you you stream a fair bit, so what would you recommend as a starter pack for? If you could pick any starter pack, so say you pick up that Mustang and you CCU it to something, what what would be your personal choice? Uh, well, can, I can am. I, I'm a I can tell you. I, I can tell you ours if that makes it easier for you. Sure. So, our, so me and Agri generally tend to recommend the Titan. Okay, yeah, that's a pretty solid bet. I mm. I am, if you watch my videos, I always tell people to just get the Aurora and then yep. go from there. If But yeah, like a CCU from there up would, the Titan. Yeah. Is if, a if, you're going, if you're going your absolute base starter ship, then it's either, it's either the, you know, the, uh, the Titan, uh, not the Titan, the, the Mustang or the Aurora. And when you look yeah. at those two ships together, the Aurora gives you more versatility out of those two ships. Mm -hmm. But... I, you better go up to the like Titan. Mm. Yeah. We, but we, you better go on a Titan with that cargo space and everything else. Yeah. 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 And it's the normal game price. Yeah. With what you said there too about taking the default ship and kind of playing the game a bit and learning, I think you mm. kind of teach yourself um, what you want to upgrade into if you even want to upgrade. Yeah. Um, so that's, yeah. that's really good advice there. And, and it's and super, it easy to, super easy to get up to earning a Titan in game. Oh, look. Especially now, that is that's really good, really really good advice. So yeah, if you yep. if you if you if you're hard up for cash, you do not need to do any of this stuff. We recommend. Yeah, um, it's just get get one of those starter packs and just earn your way to a Titan. Mm. Uh, by far the the best advice you can give anyone. Um, and so, and 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 learning how to fly the ships is really good. It's it's a valuable asset to have. Yeah. yeah. So what's the main difference between this Nomad Pack Algrid and last year's Nomad Pack? Uh, the starting cash. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, so last year's combo pack had 20,000 starting cash, LTI, uh, a skin. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And, and it was a combo mm. pack. So it actually and it was a combo with... pack. Yeah. So that combo pack was $100 mm -hmm. and you got all of that. Um, mm. If you look at the combo pack this year, I think it's 100 and I think it's I, I was looking at the Australian price, and it, it was a seventy. It's seventy five dollars if my if my math is correct. Yeah. And so that yeah. that's just that's just a standalone mm. with a, a, a single game. But when you've got in, ten years in, but when you've got Squadron forty two in there as well, mm. it goes so up it really around hundred. But it's but it's lackluster. It's got nothing. Yeah. It, Compared yeah, it really to is. yeah, the the thing last year it had LTI and the combo. It was probably one of the best packs we've seen in a while. Oh. But not for the ship. The ship was garbage, and the ship is still garbage. Um, considering you can get the you know A two or, or B, uh, hull sorry A two hull A or hull B, and they they basically do more than it in almost every well, other way. Well, you look at the, you look at the the, the uh, Cutlass. The Cutlass is closest ship to it in in CCU in in the, mm. in the um, in the you know in CCU chains, yeah, and it does more cargo, has space for two rocks, has mm. crew space for two, has living quarters for two, mm. um, and it, if you're going to spend that much money, yeah, for a go, ship go, go is, a little, yeah, go, go a little, a little bit, bit further and get one feet that you can use with a mate as well, and it, it'll it'll have a longer life. So yeah, I personally, um, I, I feel I feel like they need to spend next year doing passes on every single starter ship and bringing them up to gold standard yeah well we did hear about that today actually with the cutlass so speaking of the cutlass it's going right to be yeah with the cutlass it's good yeah, yeah. 
I think um, they they got to take well, care of those starter ships. Though. Right, the, the Cutlass is getting a gold standard. I thought the Cutlass yeah, was already yeah, a peak. It was it was gold mentioned. Standard. I can't the remember. Cutlass I heard is gold it was today. The gold is always just a coating. It's not actual yep. gold with Drake. <laughs> yeah, that'd be that'd be cool. Actually, the the gold variant of the Cutlass. Anyway, all right. So we've also got a few skins. So I'm just going to ask you your guys' simple opinion on what you think of them, and that's basically it. I didn't open up every individual one, but what I did was I just opened up the packs, so it shows them all anyway. So we've kind of got the the black and blue one um, for the the carrot. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, oh, um, and and a polar one. Now yeah. the re thing that that Algra just noted on there is also the character's getting a best in show skin, yeah. but it's the inverse of this. So it's this kind of like dark blue, not the same blue as that, but like a dark yeah. blue with black on top. And I personally think it looks better than this one. And if you own the ship, you're getting it for free next week or two weeks from now. Uh, so for me, it's a pass on the black and blue one. I don't know about you guys, but what's your take on those two skins? Uh, space i mean i would i i'd rock it i wouldn't ever buy it but it looks decent okay. i'm not a huge fan of it i don't i don't the the colors <laughs> that they use on the i don't know if it's the shaders or what the but the skins never look as good on these pictures yeah. and these marketing things as they mm. do in game for me i'm just gonna it, open it, it up to show you the prices marketing. <laughs> um so the carrot, yeah, look at that. So the the black and blue ones, uh, what's that? Fourteen US dollars, and I think this one's like nineteen US dollars. I've got to convert it back from Australian. So if I'm wrong yeah. or, or whatever, guys, I apologize. But I'm trying to do it as roughly and quickly as possible. Um, so I think they're very expensive for what they are. And if you know oh, anything yeah. about how quickly they're made, God, it, it's it, way quicker <laughs> than anything like a game like League of Legends or whatever. It's literally just changing colors um, in Data Forge, pretty much. It's. That's I realized I said what I said backwards. I meant it looks better in the, the, the marketing than it does in the game. Yeah. Yep. No, Oftentimes, I, I, the colors I don't seem to said. look. Yeah. Because they want, yeah. they want you to buy with your eyes. And, right. Yeah, and stuff it's, like that, like, yeah. it's like buying a... a uh, McDonald's, mm. you know, you look at the advertising and the, the Big Mac looks awesome, you know, or the, mm. the Whammer looks awesome, but you, you buy the thing and it's, yeah. Yeah. Now, I and don't I ever wonder if that's going to change because this is going to have to be the bulk of their revenue at some point, right? Unless yep. they're going to keep selling ships. So they got to pick up the quality and quantity of these. Yeah. Now, I um, don't own a ballista, but someone in our supporters chat said that these were basically reskin versions of the ballista for the. Um, uh, for the Spartan. Now, I'm not too sure. I do remember there being a snow one. Um, there was, a, there was a snow, a desert, and a. And a regular. So there's no kind of. Is that the desert one? I don't know it's a bit brown for me, but I, I digress. The point being is again, uh, skins for a vehicle to me just sounds a little bit. It, it, you know, sixteen. I'm going to say it's only sixteen dollars. But like, if I go back here and actually look at the individual skins, when I can find the Spartan, that is bear expensive. With me. It's a fifth, the skins are a fifth of the price. That's not that's it is Spartan, isn't it? God, I was, I was going to wait, it's Ballista. So you're looking at seven dollars, four dollars for that one, and oh, there's there's some war bond. Oh no, it's the default skin. So yeah, seven dollars for a skin. Uh, it's, I think it's too expensive, especially when we were meant to be getting this custom paint creator where we can make whatever we want. Um, and I do know it's raising funds for the game, but I guarantee you how much buyers remorseful people are going to be where that the day before the paint customizer comes along or whatever, they basically make these $0 melt value and won't let you melt them. And then basically, oh, by the way, you can just now paint it any way you want. Like that's kind of, that's, that's something that's consistent with everything that has to do with this game, buying the ships, buying the skins, mm -hmm. even just playing the game. It's all diminishing returns, it feels like. Yeah. The best way to play this game, honestly, if you want the best value, is just to wait and like not do anything until it's actually done. It, yeah. it feels like if you're if you're in here and you're even looking at these skins at this point, you got to expect that at some point people are going to earn these in-game and you're, yeah. they're going to be no value. So well, that's good to remember. It's, a, it's even the point that it used to be said that in-game we'd have the ability to create our own skins. Yeah, and right. So, yeah. yeah. I sometimes wonder whether they've they've passed on that idea now because skins they can sell skins and you like every other MMO and it's like hey get this red clothing skin get this yellow one and people will buy them because they get Pokemon disease Pokemon all syndrome. All right, um, I think we'll start with Space Tomato because probably people have heard us to death. So Space Tomato from Anvil. Mm -hmm. 
what are the ships that you think people should be looking at today? What, what ones like if, if money's no object, what is the, the, the ships that you think are best at what they do? Type of thing? The crucible. Good choice. Definitely. Um, and the, I would say the care. I mean, I, you know, I know the info runners. I'm part of the group. I'm here all the time. So I know better. Bigger ships are better when it comes to the whole, you know, value. But mm -hmm. you're saying if money is not an option, honestly, I would say most people would, would benefit the most from getting a Carrick right now because mm -hmm. it's in game. It has a great set of features. It can carry you in a group of around. It's got tons of protection. It's just a good ship. All the rest of them are fighters. They're easy to earn in game or they're just not even in game yet. I don't want to uh, money you, the I don't want to money the water, but I got to ask specifically. But what about the Odyssey? With the Odyssey just around the corner next week, do, do, do you hesitate on the Carrick purchase there at all? No, because people yeah. shouldn't be buying ships based on what their competitors are doing. Like if you bought a Carrick, you should not buy the Carrick because it's the best exploration ship in the game because it won't be. Mm. Buy the Carrick because it's what you wanted. Don't buy the Odyssey because it's the new fancy exploration ship buy the odyssey because it does exactly what you want that nice. way when a new shiny ship comes out you know you're not sitting there going oh my god i gotta trade this in you know yep. as awesome. a lot of people do but I, I think the other thing that makes the character so good is the fact that it's also got the ursa rover and a c8 yeah that is super. Um, awesome. you are getting like a little mini bundle aren't you yeah it's a it yeah. is a mini bundle and it it's it's a per it's a perfect it is a perfect ship for for a group of friends you've got your land vehicle and your and your little daily driver all right, in so Algrid, your like recommended your recommended ships for uh, Anvil this year. Anvil, I, I think it's it'd still be the it'd still be the um, the Carrick for the same reasons. It it's the most complete package in in a in a single ship. Um, other than that, Crucible. Oh, well, Crucible goes without saying. Of course. Saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I I you know I'm part of a cult of a Crucible, so. <laughs> I, I think I, I, I agree with you boys with just so, one slight addition, and that's the Spartan, but only as an LTI token. I will just chuck yeah. that in there because it's it's definitely going to be the LTI token for this sale. Um, yeah. And I and I hope because it's now available in game, it's there available every day. So um, keep an eye yeah. out for Warbond CCUs, and hopefully, like last sale, where you could get a Polaris for five hundred and twenty-five dollars instead of seven hundred and fifty, you might actually find that. It's cheaper to use Warbond CCUs than go through um, uh, buying it for full price dollars, which is just crazy to me. But we'll see what happens because I'm I'm expecting already with some of the CCUs that are there today and what's coming, you may be able to get an old CF cheaper. Just straight off the bat, get it cheaper yeah. than what they offer it for. If you go, because think about it, it's eight days in. If you can get a CCU every day of the sale, and l let's just look at the last two from Invictus, the two big ones alone, right? There was the C2 and the M2, and they say 40 bucks. That's $80 off. I would say that's more than a discount than, than you're going to get for um, buying um, the Odyssey Warbond, personally. But we'll, we'll wait like, and see. It was like the Polaris last year at, at IAE. Um, when we, 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 I think it was the IAE, where we did that sample chain and it was like what 500 yeah, five, yeah five, 525 on the very first day of the sale it was mm. crazy um yeah it, i remember it, the yeah crazy it was like savings 225 dollars off and it was cheaper than it was ever had been available before so even the people that had brought the ship on day one they brought it 650 dollars. it was 125 dollars less than that and it was a huge slap into the face to anyone that had backed the ship to back the game let's just like they just Massive slap in the face. So I hope they don't do that again. I'm teleporting. Uh, sorry. That's all right. It is to be expected. At <laughs> the game within the game. Mm. These, these CCUs. Yep. All right, then. Um, well, with that all said and done, that is um, today done. Hopefully you have a great time uh, with... God, I'm forgetting again. It's not Christmas. It's... Uh, Thanksgiving. 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 I'm not used to it. We don't have it here. So I hope you have a good <laughs> Thanksgiving. I do know there's a lot of other people in the States that are a little bit annoyed because apparently that ISC that's dropping next week is right on Thanksgiving, uh, mm -hmm. which is a crazy day to drop it. So, yeah. And it'll be a big, big, big ISC too. 
big day uh, in general. It's, it's crazy because to me, it almost feel like I, I really am into the ship. So to me, it's I'm probably more hyped for next week than I was for Citizen Con and, uh, and, and AI mm. itself. So, yeah. I got you. I, so, I've always, yeah. I don't like that this goes on that week because I'm always doing something that week. So, you know, people are like, hey, come hang out, come jump in game. And I'm like, I can't. I'm out of town. Sucks, I think they but... kind of do it. You, you correct me if I'm wrong because you're you're from the states and we're not. But I, I feel like mm -hmm. the anniversary sale is timed around Black Friday sales. You, is that a thing that you think is possibly tied in with it? I mean, it's I the know... same. Yeah, it is the same weekend. Yeah, it does help. I'm sure. Mm, okay, so it's it's Everybody's in that in vein of mood. Yeah, that yeah, retail. Yeah, spending if you want to, yeah, if you want to make everything available to buy, you would do it in November. Makes the mm -hmm. most sense, though. So. Well, there's a little bit of American perspective for you because I've never thought to ask that before. So, yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. All we right. Well, we, with that, let us know in the comments your thoughts and suggestions as well on anything else that you think we may have missed. Um, uh, CCU chain kickoff, uh, LTI, all that type of stuff. Let you know your thoughts on the skins as well because I think they're a little lackluster as you, you can kind of heard what we said. And other than that, he's been Space Tomato, he's been Algrid, I've been Execute, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.